Hey, what's going on guys? Ray Shapley, I sell real estate in Austin and I'm out in Belterra. I wanna walk you through this new Toll Brothers model, the Adelin floor plan. It's pretty cool, let's check it out. Okay, right off the bat, love the front doors. Look at the amount of light this is gonna bring in. Big steel doors, tons of glass, double doors, so that's gonna give you about a six foot opening when you open both up. Just beautiful, look at how much light that brings in. Love it, I love it. Okay, so let's get to, let's get to know this floor plan. All right, so when you walk in, Really nice look to it. You see this, you're greeted with the stairs, open into the dining and the living, and then right off to the left is the office. This is a great office. Let's take a look at this because, look at those ceilings. Let's get this up. That's gotta be about, I'd say 18 foot ceilings if I had to guess. Really high, really dramatic feel to it. Love the built-ins on the back of this office. And it's painted really dark, but it brings in so much light, this room, that it totally looks fine. Really nice office here. Great feel to it. All right, so leaving the office, here is the formal dining. Toll Brothers, this builder, does a really good job with floor plans and as a component of that, windows. I've just always been impressed with the, their focus on letting light in. Let's go ahead and check out the master bedroom and what's off on this wing of the house. So off the side of the living room, we have a guest bath here. Powder room, really. And then here's the master. So it's not a big deal, but one thing I'll say, let me go back to that. Having the guest bath right across the hall from the master, I don't know. I mean, you could keep your master door shut, but if it was me, I might move that master somewhere else, the, or the, uh, the guest bath. But let's get back to this master. All right, so nice work on the ceiling. I like the light fixture. And then they have a door here out onto the patio, which we'll go see in a minute. What do you guys think of this master? I think it's nice. It's not huge. It's a good size, it's wide. It's kind of a funky shaped room. There's only, really that's the only wall you can put your bed on. See here, you could put it there, but then you have to walk all the way, you'd have to walk around the master over here. It could get kind of awkward. You can't put it on this wall, just because of these windows, you wouldn't want to take that up. So, really one choice for the bed. It works there though. Now let's go into this master bath. So first thing we've got the commode right here, and then we walk into gorgeous tub. And then the walk-in shower with the tile done all the way to the ceiling. And in this room, this is probably, I don't know, 13, 14 foot ceilings, huge ceilings in this house, huge. No complaints from me there. All right, let's look at this master sink. So his and hers.
looking down at the cabinets. So it's probably enough drawers. It's not a ton. You know, you've got those three drawers in the middle, but yeah, these are functioning drawers. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. And we have the, the closet here. It's a good size closet. This is an interesting space here. So it's not a big area, but my best guess is that's where you put luggage. I don't know. If you guys know what that space would be used for, let me know. All right, before we go through the living, let's go on upstairs. So the way this house is set up is the children, in theory, would sleep upstairs. Their two bedrooms are up. The master is on one side of the house and the mother-in-law suite or guest room is on the other side of the house. So right off the bat, we have a bedroom here. Good size room. This room will have a big walk-in closet with its own window. Very nice. And then it's got its own bathroom. I'm not a big fan of that tile. It's kind of busy for me, but um, the rest of it looks nice. I don't know guys, am I off on that tile or does it just seem like there's a lot going on? All right. Then we have this is kind of like the teen room, homework room area. So the way they've got it set up is pretty nice. There's a couple options here, but you know, they've got like homework stations, I guess you call them TV area. Big windows, love these guys. And then one of the better media rooms I've seen, I see a lot of media rooms, and I'm usually unimpressed. They're usually just kind of dark holes. Now this, you'll notice this doesn't have any windows, but it feels good. They've got the right lighting. They've got the right finish out. It's just a great, uh, this is what a home theater room should be. And they did it right. Now this floor plan starts in the sixes, but the way you're seeing this finished out is gonna sell in the eights, in the 800,000, 850 range, just because of the amount of add-ons they've put into this. Now, it's the last bedroom upstairs. Here's the bathroom for the bedroom and for this area. Nothing, nothing amazing there, pretty standard bathroom. And then a bedroom here. Three windows, great views. I would like to see a bigger closet there, but uh, I mean, it's adequate, but I think the standard is these days, house this size, we would want to see a bigger uh, closet there, more, more like a walk-in. So here, from up here, we're gonna look down onto the living room on one side and onto the entryway on the other side. Let's look at this kitchen. Actually, before we get there, let's talk about the living room. So, again, really, really high ceilings.
and this door, these doors will open all the way up. This is again about a $12,000 option. But these doors will go all the way back so that we can really get the outdoor indoor lifestyle going. There we go. So we can really open this place up. I think that's actually money well spent. Now let's look at this back porch. So first of all, great view the way this is situated. If we look up, this is a pretty epic porch. This has got to be 20 feet up there. Really tall ceilings, big porch. They've got, you know, if you look at it, full dining setup, sofa, four chairs, still room to go. We come around to this side, even more seating back here. This is just, this is, a, this is an ex the extended porch option, but this is great. Something else I really like about Belterra is that most of the lots out here back to green space. So there'll never be neighbors behind you. This is a real common thing throughout Belterra. Now, if you're looking at Belterra by chance, and you're looking at building, you know, the thing to know is that Toll Brothers is pretty much buying up all the lots that are left. There's not that many. So it's probably gonna be through Toll Brothers if you build, which if you ask me as builders go, it's one of the best in the area. So uh, hard to go wrong there. Uh, Toll Brothers has two sections, depending on the width of the lot, but they're both in the same uh, part of the neighborhood. So let's check out this kitchen and eating. Very nice. Quartz countertop, looks really good. Nice island. Big eating area off the kitchen here. Cool lighting that they've done. All right, so we've got the white cabinets, the six burner KitchenAid, Cooktop, vent hood is wrapped in wood. That looks good. Really like the backsplash here. It's nice. Under counter lighting, which we'd expect above counter as well. Got the lighting up there. Pretty good sized kitchen. Not huge, but it's good. So microwave, oven, and we Pretty much don't use the microwave anymore. I would, if it was me, I would opt for a double oven there. Let's look at the pantry real quick. I love the glass doors on the pantry. Oh, door's locked. Well, we can kind of look in the window. Looks good though. All right, and so last, the last part of the house is right here. This is back behind the kitchen, which you'll, you'll typically see rooms like this top, tucked behind the kitchen. It's a mother-in-law suite setup. So it's basically an extra bedroom with its own bathroom. So basically the way this floor plan works is, you know, uh, masters on one side of the house. The kids are upstairs, two bedrooms up there. And then the mother-in-law suite on the other side of the house. Great size closet here. So there it is, guys. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this floor plan. What do you think about it? What do you think about the, the way they've done the design? I really like the light here. The light that this, the natural light that this thing has is really top notch. I'm, you know, it's kind of my thing. Right? It's like, I'm really picky about natural light. And so 
Uh, although you would expect good natural light with a two-story like this, this is still better than, better than I would expect. All right, guys, love to know your thoughts. Until next time, this is Ray, so Real Estate in Austin. If this video was helpful, give me a like. If you'd like to see more like this, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you on the next one.